Hello, this is Falterfire. To recap where we are at, uh, this is part two of the run. Uh, we are in, as you can see, area three. Uh, our end boss here is Cruelty Hunger Bailator. Um, our deck is, our main goal here when we started the deck was to use Reclamation and Divination to loop cards and do unfair things. Uh, we have one of the most unfair cards in the game in the form of Strenuous Vigor, which is the main thing we we're trying to loop. But we can also loop Spirit Swarm or um, Void Hardened Skin to also achieve great things. Uh, avoiding choking on mana has been a bit of a problem so far this run, but um, hopefully we can make it through regardless. As far as fights in this area go, I really would like either of these. They would both help us with our problems. Um, I don't think either of these really help us a ton. And I don't know that we care about any of the Frost cards. Um, in particular, I would like to get access to, like I said, Ruiz Gamble, because Strenuous Vigor will counteract the downside on Gamble. Um, and we are dealing with opportunists, except for very occasionally, thanks to Hunger. Although this fight would put us up against Opportunist. I'm uh, just looking at what the rest of the map looks like. Yeah, I think I like that path. It means we don't get clear focus, but we're going into Bay later rather than Maw, so that's less important. Just gonna do this. All right, I forgot we picked up Spyglass and Duplatome near the end of last area, so we're cheating now. That's important. Ooh, our spirit. Okay. But before our spirit perished, it did give us temporary powerful. Do we get out of this? Okay. Okay, this is a little bit awkward, although we can freeze you out, which is nice. You're absolutely going to do that. The main question is what I'm going to put back. I think it is spirit. The answer is spirit swarm. So going to summon a spirit. You're going to loop that back. We're going to freeze, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, I don't have a fan until I play that, of course. This will trip opportunists, but the freeze will negate it. And the swarm grows. Go ahead and pop you for five. So this turn. All right. Step one. Actually, no, step one is this. Step two. Glass. Step three is Dupleto. Dupleto, I mean, that doesn't actually do that much for us, but the important thing is just copying the strenuous figure. Uh, I guess this puts me in the awkward position of now I am looping back an exhaustion, which I don't really want to do. But the important thing is we now have eight fortress, which means that no matter how hard they try, they can't stop us now. We don't have any plated, that's a little unfortunate. But remember, do we pick up anything that would get us temporary plated? I don't think so. I think it was just um, if the tools give us temporary plated, we can get it that way. Okay. Do I have two strenuous figures? No, that was the one that I looped at the end of last turn. There we go. This does three to us and three to allies, but then it will just. We had enough purity to survive doing that. To, to, so that we still have purity left after doing that several times. That's pretty impressive. Uh, they're going to kill that and then spend it with go Berserk and die on its turn.
That will force the shuffle. We can actually put one of those. We have an impurity that it doesn't hurt us. Although at this point, we should just go ahead and finish out the fight. And all that's left is uh, the Berserk. Okay, so that's decrease every turn plus two, sure. All right, Stone Skin would give us a way to potentially set up Plated for um, whatever. And yeah, we are going up this way. Um, I don't think we really want anything out of that fight. I think I would probably rather have the extra idle bonus, uh, but that's kind of a tough call. Upgrade card. Um, I really want to upgrade Devourer's Strike. Because it's more powerful. I also really want to upgrade the Cinder Barrage, so that probably is next. I should have upgraded the Cinder Barrage knowing that I was going into this fight. Alright, I think we're going to loop the Stone Skin. Because we want the Stone Skin next turn... Uh, to because we want to potentially strenuous vigor it, and so we want to just keep holding it until we want to get it back next turn. So if we can strenuous vigor it, we can start actually growing our plated. All right, uh, none of this is really what we are looking for. All right, Let's see what's on top. It's not really what we want, but actually, I say that. I think that seems totally okay. I'm going to play that one. I think I want to play this, transforming the temporary one. Yeah, this actually works out well. Because this will get us to exact zero. Which means... Although I guess this is now the unfortunate thing, is that now we, we need to find mana. Let's hope that there is mana somewhere in the top of our deck. There's a chance. That'll work. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have enough mana to do everything we want to do. And we can't copy that. So. I think step one is doing that. We need space in hand in order to Duplitome. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Duplitome these two. And the fact that we don't have uh, whatever it's made up for by the fact that we just get to do that much here. Although next turn we are going to take, and we take a little bit of damage there. We're going to probably also take a little bit of damage here. Although. If this doesn't kill, we cycle it back. Oh, because we don't have all of our buffs. Should have done this in different order. Because yeah, now we have a lot more buffs. Alright, I think we just take the mana. And I think we cut... Maybe the hobble. We don't need the hobble. Because we're going to be, our goal is to stack Fortress, and that's going to be how we're going to get our damage reduction. I think this fight... Hmm. Because I think, yeah, I think the chance of an upgrade is better than... We still have several cards that we'd really like to upgrade. Right, so that is how we're getting around. Whatever. It's not really what we're looking to see as far as... Uh, whatever targets go. We're gonna do this because that will still draw us a card. And we knew that we were drawing that. Um I think this is probably what we want to get back. Actually, we want to get the Swift Strike back because we want may want the evasion next turn. And this will do tiny damage to us, tiny damage to them, but we may as well get that damage out because there's no reason not to. And that shrivel is gonna do what we're gonna feed to the scorching winds. Happy to see that. That's going to work out well for us. I 
I think we have to do this, and then we can mana cycle it to get back our mana. Freezing out this turn isn't actually that valuable to us, but freezing that means that, I mean, we were guaranteed to evade it, I guess, either way. We could play this, but I think we save it, and I think we save the tools for now as well. Uh, we are just going to get some damage there, and a little bit of growth from Infinity Wand. Hmm, I have no space stand, so I can't use that. I don't think we need to do... Th this is a really awkward hand. Because it's full and we don't have any mana. There's not mana on top of the deck, or on top of the discard pile. There is a lot of mana in the draw pile, though, so... If... We can... Yeah, I think this has a very good chance of getting us the mana that we need. Thank you. Because we want to get um, misc buffs online before we use that, before we use this, which does need more mana. Okay. So we have six mana to work with. Let's start by getting Fortress. And then let's get plated. And defensive energy. And then we are going to Spyglass Strenuous Vigor. Let's see what we get out of that. Kind of hoping for mana. No luck. Um, we can duplicate those two. Reclamate the Strenuous Vigor. Heal. Heal. Pitch. Pitch. And Turbo Shock because we can. Now we have plenty of cleanse, uh, or of purity up. And an okay amount of um, whatever. Okay, so this is going to be what we're going to sacrifice to. Actually, we can sacrifice that, but let's do that. Um, maybe we should transform something with this. So, I think I killed that first, is the goal. I don't think I can afford to transform this. Do I want to get rid of the Cannon Blast, is the question. I think the answer is yes. And that feels wrong. Probably not the most efficient way to do what I wanted to do, but we are now at 11 Fortress and 8 Plated, and everything is going great. Let's go to zero. Honestly, that seems like an okay thing to get back. Let's lock out the um, whatever for another turn. We could just raw play that. I think we don't need the stone skin anymore because the only reason that we needed it was for whatever purposes. All right. Um. Fly hidden. Do some damage. Flying hidden was mostly so we keep the extra crit chance. Because I don't think do we have any base crit chance. I don't remember what our stats are at. We do not. Right, there goes the spirit. Something, something. Spirit is willing. Flesh is willing. Spirit is weak. Something like that. Uh, we can go ahead and cleanse off the curse. It's very important that we do that, of course. I probably should have tried to get that in my discard pile. I probably should have just played that out. Right. 
This is going to be lethal. There we go. Uh, I still don't think we want Rampant Blaze. Divination seems okay. It's kind of one of the points of the deck after all. Uh, this is probably better. Extra crit chance in particular. Alright, we can upgrade. I haven't upgraded the Divinations yet, but that is actually potentially very good. If we can line it up with the Reclamation. Let's see what we can get out of this. Unfortunately, not really anything that goes with that. Um, let's, we really would like to get a powerful or something out before we... Hmm. Well, we can at least get it back next turn. We can actually do it again right now. For all that we're not really getting anything out of it. We're definitely not going to bother doing uh, that yet, but... Uh, that gets us Evasion of an Enemy's Curse. We don't have a way to apply Curse. Let's see what this gets us. Okay. Absolutely nothing of value. We could play it, but it's not worth it. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to Mana Cycle it back. And we don't really want to Divination it, actually. Because it would just be... Um... Actually, it would be Growth, I guess. Because this is going to get us. I don't hate getting more growth. And, but we're not going to play that. Yeah, now we have the fortress to copy. Fortunately, we do not have the ability to transform this yet. But... And do that again. So we'll be able to do it next turn. And this turn I think we should be able to go off pretty well. Although we still absolutely need more mana. That continues to be a problem. Okay, so we can get a powerful. We need to get that to go off. I just play this to reduce the cost on the cannon blast. Definitely just playing that to get rid of reduced cost on cannon blast. This ends up being kind of awkward sequencing, but I think it's the, the best thing we can do. The reason Stockwood Sequence thing is because it leaves us um, with less whatever than we could have, but we do end up at 12 growth, which is nice, and 10 purity. Uh. Okay, we can draw into... Map for the extra growth. Okay. Transform that. Uh, is that. No. Well, this would be uh, free, but. You can just take the extra mana boost. And, or the mana boost and the extra growth, because we don't actually have any mana boost right now. You will not be bleeding even if this tries to make us bleed. Oh, hey, I called it. I tried to make us bleed. But unlike Superman, we won't. We will shrivel, though. Okay, we can do this, which is what we want to do. Let's see what that gets us. Okay, not really what I want to do. I'm not going to... Uh, whatever. Oh, I should have done that first, so I could have gotten out. Non I guess it doesn't matter, because it would have just gone towards this 2x2 hit, who, which, who cares. 
But yeah, this extreme um, fortress stacking is how we're planning to beat Bay later. For the most part. So, get rid of that, get rid of that. Uh, divination again doesn't seem super great. Oh, I like that. And I am going to put that on top of my deck. And put that on top of my deck. And then attempt to just dump it. Get in the dump. Hey, we can get rid of this. Don't want it. Freeze you, so we don't have to deal with your op with your um, yeah opportunist. Dunked on and then die. You a big dummy. This is um, salon being salon, basically. Yeah. Uh, do I take gamble or do I reroll for corrupted font? Honestly, I think the man is the bigger problem right now. Yeah. Absolutely, we'll take the corrupted font. Don't think we need that even into whatever. This is okay with cannons. And then for upgrades, we may cut the extra, the second defensive mod. This does top two and then, okay, just thinking through. Um, could also, I guess, just upgrade a mana card. That's not terrible. I also don't hate the evasion too. No, we're gonna upgrade Cinder Blast. Yeah, because that's just a bajillion extra hits. And yeah, for cuts, I think it's probably the defensive mod. That could put us in an awkward position, but we'll see. So I don't think I care about that. Or sorry, I don't think I care about really the cards here. But this lets us skip some fights and it lets us get I do actually, I say I don't care about the cards. I actually would like a Hungry Focus, I guess. Um, Driving Blizzard is probably actually fine. Let's... I'm just going to do a Fishing. Less useful than I would like, but... I think we're actually just going to loop the Shocking Focus. Because the mana seems valuable. Hey. So it's actually on top of our deck right now, to be clear. So we are going to do that. Because this will give us the powerful that we need to go with uh, whatever. Let's see if we get any other buffs out of that. Twits. We don't have any purity. You're going to Spyglass Strenuous Baker. Put the other put the Strenuous Baker back on top of our deck. Get rid of those. And we will duplicate these. Okay. Swarm, swarm, heal, heal, or buff, buff, buff. And we can even get rid of the Frostbite. It's fun. And now we have. So much plated that even Bay Later Hatchlings are not really accomplishing anything. Doing that so that we can get out um, the Empower here. Okay, we can do this first. Right. Forgot 
It's gonna be a little bit awkward to do this. Okay, there's that. So we lose the purity immediately, but we didn't get to do that. And we now have all of our buffs, so that's going to do quite a bit of damage. And our summons are tragically frozen, but they deserve it. Alright, get frozen again. Easy fight. We have Frost Barrier, but we have whatever. Let's see what's on top of the deck, just for fun. Doesn't really do anything for us, but we'll take it. I should have played that, because I'm going to get another chance. Yeah, completely reasonable number of hits. Could do that. I think we're just going to do this. Finish up next turn. Should be no problem. Sure, gain some shield. Good luck. Hey, anyway, we'll send a barrage, which will do some damage to our precious friends, but way more damage to our nefarious enemy. Uh, I think I would reroll here and get the other option. Because I think Hungering Focus does good work for us. And then upgrade. Um, maybe another divination, maybe a mana card. This is a lot of mana. This is so much mana for doing that. And we're just going to count on purity, hopefully, to save us. But we do not have um, the condition to avoid this fight. I'm so used to just having the condition for the fight. Let's do that. Let's do that and see what we get. Ooh, that's actually perfect. That is exactly uh, the sort of thing that I want to copy. So we can get powerful that way. You're going to be a jerk and murder our summon, unfortunately. But that's okay. We still got powerful out of it. And really, that's what counts. And our 5% of A chance kicking in. Okay, we want to do this first, because we actually care more about the powerful from that. You really should try and get... Um, buffs out here. Let's see we get out of that. Hmm. Possibly just copy that. Oh, but we only have one of the buffs that's relevant there, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think we unfortunately do have to draw. We may have to trip this opportunist here. Okay, that's what we were looking for. So we are going to spyglass that. Play that to get it out of hand. We're going to copy... Oh, but I can't this isn't going to work out the way I want it to, because I can't copy the figures. And unfortunately, we don't have the defenses I want. I'm just going to copy that. It will do some damage. Okay, I think I have to eat this damage. There we go. Everyone gets iced. It doesn't help with my, uh, whatchamacallit problem, but... And that'll kill this one. I'll kill both of them, I guess. Okay. Could have been a lot worse. Not really what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Um. Uh, oh yeah, that'll just be outright lethal. So let's just do that. We take one whole damage, and in exchange, we take away one whole power. Uh, sure. Another clean seems fine. That's not great. None of this is really useful. Well, that's okay, but it's not super great. So we're going to pass. Take this fight. Should be easy enough. I uh, can't really use that yet. I just don't have the... Well, actually... I can do that. And now, get frozen, dummies. All 
right, are those insidious power stones? But you have this. But we don't have any power stones. Card draw, no such luck. Well, if we don't have any power stones, I think we probably do want to do this then. Oop. Transform power stone. It's gone. Goodbye. Okay. So the question then becomes actually, there is no question. We're just doing this. Which means we are now powerful. It's going to be like 110 damage. We can copy this and then that solves our problems. I'm pretty sure that helps solves all our problems. Yep. Is that to you so that you lose your um, whatever? Not that it's going to matter. Not the place of blood matters because nothing matters. They're, they're dead. They're all dead. We killed them all. Oh, well, I say nothing matters. I guess there's the fact that they are going to get a turn. So I guess it is good that we got rid of the poison blood. Um, We know what's on top. It's not mana. Let's just in turn. We'll eat a little bit of damage here, but it's pretty minor. We have a ton of breaths left. And it's not even enough to drop our max recoverable, so... Okay. Take another reclamation. Absolutely. See what's here. All right, it is CPU. I think we can beat CPU. We are cheating pretty hard. Basically, it comes down to whether or not we can get our, the pieces that we need to cheat before CPU can kill us. Well, that definitely helps. Let's see what we get out of this. Let's see what I'm looking for. Um, that takes away a, a plated. Not that it does a ton, but it makes me feel better. I say not that it does a ton, because of course immediately gets back. Um, there goes our purity, unfortunately. Because we won't be able to start stacking it. Oh, right. I looked that back on purpose, because I knew this was a potential concern. Have I mentioned that I'm very smart? I think we also want that back, because I think Stacking Fortress is another piece of this puzzle. And this isn't going to freeze, so we're just going to do that. And there's a chance that we will actually get to keep some of this power, some of this purity. Nope, there goes all our purity again. But I, I didn't prep it again this time. I am not clever enough. And we did not find... The strenuous vigor. Yet. Yeah. I think we do dig for it. Alright, I am willing to play that even through whatever. Okay, that gets us that was a little unfortunate. Okay, let's cleanse. Let's avoid harden. Get back Void Hardened. This won't actually freeze them. We just have to kind of throw in damage there. We also haven't found our Powerful yet, um, which hopefully we find. Okay, there's the Devourer Strike, so that's our Powerful Source. So we don't have Plated Stacking, but we do have a lot of Fortress going. So... Although we also have... A considerable amount of uh, Okay. So I'm going to transform this. And I'm going to loop that back. And immediately redraw it. And similarly I'm going to loop that back so I can immediately get it back next turn. 
Hmm. Kind of been really rough that uh, this has been lurking at the very bottom of our deck. The experience figure is a huge part of our ability to actually end this. Because um, we had gotten Strenuous Vigor going with whatever we could have potentially... Wow, it just really does not like us. Um, Alright, we did get this, which I was really hoping to see. I guess it doesn't totally hate us because it didn't give us... Uh, whatchamacallit. Alright, so... We are going to transform the Runestone. We need to cleanse as part of this plan. I think... The main question is, do we cleanse, do we duplicate the sanctuary? I think we do. Which means, if we do that, then we can cleanse off the sanctuary, or cleanse off the bleed, and a lot of the curse. And now, We are starting to be almost in business. We don't have plated yet, but yeah, the chance of us drawing something and it being useful to us is very low. So we're just gonna do that. Get more uh, fortress. And it keeps being very difficult for them to actually do it. Although we still need to, to transform the power stones. Because look, our entire hand just got completely blocked out. We aren't gonna get to keep any cannons this turn. They're all going to get crushed. Okay, so we can't really afford to draw any. But... We can do that. And we can do that. Yeah, we may end up having to restart and rest just because, like, we need to get that strenuous vigor on an earlier turn. Um, but I don't think we're doomed. I don't really want to get hit by opportunists here. Although, I, it's not the end of the world if we do. It would get us another cleanse. I think that's actually worth it. Although, at this point... I really want to be able to transform whatever. There we go. We're just going to get me those. Um, yeah, I think getting that back makes sense. Especially because we can transform this. And then do that, which will almost kill. Unfortunately, then gets a bunch of shield back. But getting rid of that much. Uh, Curse makes our day a lot better. And then we explode, but... Also, we got the Doom back, but... That's good, because we didn't actually run out of the original Doom. Alright, we can get a freeze out, which seems totally okay. Okay, um... So we can freeze, or we can double cleanse. Um... I think the free... Oh, uh, but it has a bajillion. That plated, that's not actually going to freeze. So in that case, just double cleanse. Unfortunately, that does take the... Uh, killing the turret further out of our range. Okay. Yeah, our problem is we're not cheating hard enough. You have opportunists up again. OK. 
Okay. Let's see. That's kind of the worst possible thing to get. We are going to end up at tripping opportunist. Uh, there's not really much I can do about that because we want to get um, whatever. We want to kill this, which is going to... Actually, let's... Okay, we can't kill it first. I should have... Okay, no, that's actually good. And then you're going to resummon... Which does put me in a slightly awkward position because, like, I want, I don't want to kill this right before a resummon. Because I would much rather have the resummon come out. Okay. And you have to absolutely find something to transform that. Or that. We have not yet. Okay. Let's draw two. Okay, that didn't help. So we're just going to pitch that, loop it back. Tons of fortress. And we're going to start on killing that. Oh, I guess that's unfortunately a draw spec that, which I'm very clever. It's fine. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't loop whatever back, but. Okay, we are still super doomed. And despite my griping, we haven't actually lost any health so far. Wait. So we can actually do things like this so that we get to avoid losing our purity. And then this should kill, or I guess it won't because of how much life is stacked. But. It is a little funny to me though that like we have done a not insignificant amount of nonsense and we still can't get through. Played it. Do you know anything is if I kill this, I want to be able to um, transform it, but we still need that until we can vigor it. Let's see what we get. Um, let's see if we take away that. Now this makes sense as a card to play, although it doesn't do enough. It doesn't even really get close. Hey. It takes part of the rank. That's fine. Um, Strange figure isn't in there. Playing this, that, that card doesn't actually do much for us. Go ahead and lift that back. We are killing that. It does trip Opportunist, which resummons, but at least the new summoned ones don't have all of the, um, whatchamacallit, don't have all of the plated. We'll get the Mana Booster next turn. And it also means that the opera this thing only has one opportunist this turn. Okay, let's see what that gets us. Huh, thanks. Right, 
So with that, I can safely trip Opportunist. I am also totally happy doing that. Okay. Getting somewhere. Oh, but I can't actually play that. Well, that's really unfortunate. And we don't have the mana we need. For one mana short. Yeah, not being able to play that as that, that strange figure or the cleansing, whatever, is actually a big, pretty big blow. because we're not very smart. I do that. Okay, good. That did kill. Because I really wanted to get this going, finally. We still have the Sinister We do still have the Sinister Runestone. In that case, Reclamation. Actually got the uh, freeze out. All right, we do explode. It does cost us a stack of everything, but let's see what's on top. So, kind of where I'm at is, as long as there's a sinister runestone in the deck, I do not want to divination because that is potentially very dumb. Okay. Getting that back. Could get the divination back. Don't know that I want to. Don't think I want to get well. We can actually just get that back again, which seems totally fine. And then this will take away a plated stack. Which, you know, value. So I think we have turned the corner. And we didn't actually lose any health here, so, you know, that's a very good sign. Especially since I was complaining a lot at the beginning that, like, I didn't think we could draw on that well. And I, I stand by that. I don't think we did. So the fact that we are apparently winning despite that. I don't think we need a divination. The, um, whatever. We can summon out the swarm, but it's not super valuable to us right now. May do it anyway. Probably makes more sense just get the mana out. Ooh, right, shuffling. Huh. Probably just looped that. I should have played out the Spirit Swarm because it would have stripped poison played it, because they would have done zero damage. That would have been the thing to do. So we do now have um, things to kill. And the uh, Enfeebled is really annoying. Okay, so I think we're going to play this, loop it, divination it, bop it. There we go. One problem solved. Because obviously if we can avoid more plated stacking, that would make our lives a little better at least. Aha, not today, Satan. Um, honestly, I think we, we convert this because the fact that it runs it, it because of the bug, it, it double trips opportunist, which is a problem for us. And yeah, we will just go ahead and play this because it does kill. More Doom for us, although at this point we could get Doom and it would not matter. We could get a Doom proc, I mean. Fury's annoying, but not the end of the world. Ooh. That would be very... Ooh, finally. 
We can start second plated. Value. Yeah, that's only gonna do one X ten. So we're no longer weak, but still only three X ten. I mean, we may as well, though. The enviable is really not helping us here. Fortunately, the, the paladin itself doesn't fly enviable. Ah. But the only thing is because it can't be cleansed if it decides to side. Because it's doing. There's only, uh, I think, five cards in the cruelty stack. Um, what that means is we have 60% uptime on being enfeebled, which is, uh, not great. I should have checked what our loopable card was, but it looks like it didn't matter. Um, let's see what's on top of the deck. That is not super useful, but... I could transform something. I, well, just transform that. And the reason to do that is just more powerful because we do really need to get through all of this plated still. Okay. Don't really want to do a ton here, but I do really like that we got arcane weakness on this jerk. Let's see what that gets me. And not super useful. Unfortunately, if I play anything else, I detonate, which I don't super want to do. The important thing is just that I got one detonation off there, I guess, so that I can get... There we go. So that gets away a little bit of plated. Alright. You're now bleeding. Okay, there we go. Right. Yeah, we are still on people, but hopefully we soon will. I'm pretty sure that because of how this works out, it can't possibly enfeeble us this turn. Yeah, no, so we are, we now do get a couple turns out where we actually do get the full bonus more powerful. Ooh. Glad I did that first. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Uh, I meant to get this out first. I guess it's fine because we got the kill anyway. Still, misclick hurt. Unfortunately, we had to throw that into whatever. We have built up a lot of curse again, but... Okay, we get to dodge the arcane weakness. The, unfortunately, it dodges the arcane weakness, but it doesn't dodge the arcane leak. So that is value to us. Let's see what's here. Uh, there could be something good here. Ooh, yes, that's perfect. I would be very happy to play that twice. Thank you. Um, not by shock. And if we do this, it will trip a detonation there. And then I think this actually... No, this has more raw damage. But yeah, like, we get so much more damage against the... Like, I know we, we stripped a couple plays there, but a lot of it is just, like, not being enfeebled gives us a huge up on our damage output. And we could theoretically... dodge, um... 
some people with the purity. And then these dwarves are going to strip away a couple stacks. Like, they may not look like they're doing anything, but each time they hit, that takes away uh, a stack of bladed, which is absolutely worth it. There goes a lot of our purity, unfortunately. Alright, so now we can't play these. I probably should just convert these. Play that one now. Get out of hand so that our hand doesn't overfill. But yeah, like, we do so much damage when we aren't in people. And yeah, we... The summons did get rid of effectively four plated for us. Hey, we blocked the enfeebled. That's very good. And we can cleanse off a lot of that weak. Some of our problems. Oh, and those were the th that was the thing that had opportunists, so we are now good to do that. It's actually kind of worth it to get a bunch of these dorks out, because like I said, they are going to trip, uh, strip uh, whatever for us. Um, absolutely, we'll get this back on into our deck. And we can do that safely because, yeah, we were going to redraw that anyway. Right. It's being very rude there. But. Yeah, we're totally fine with losing the entire squad because they were not the point. So we have done a good job of turning this. As always, the fight ends up taking us approximately forever. The CPU fight ends up taking way longer than it should, but... Okay, spend some life on this. Aside from anything else, we have like nine, we have 19 uh, life steal. Absolutely, we will get that back. Sure, we can get that back. All right, we are actually into the health. Uh, we only have... We have three of the buffs. We'll go ahead and do it. I should have uh, recommended that, though. I wasn't thinking... For some reason, I was thinking I wasn't going to play it. All right. Sure. Have some lifesteal. It shall avail you not. Let's see what's on top. Okay. Let's see what's on top now. Ooh, I like getting more of those. I also like drawing those. And we can just put that back on top of the deck. And we have the full set of buffs now. And yeah. Got through it without taking any damage. Although it did take us a while. 46 powerful. Um, this is technically okay, but I'll pass. This could have been another shot at um, whatever, at strenuous whatever, but no luck. I think we take Arcane Silence, because another cleanse seems useful. And then we upgrade Maybe a cleanse. Having double cleanse still seems like it might be very good. I think we upgrade the Arcane Silence. And I think we remove the Mind Over Body because of the double, the Wits double trigger interaction. And we're going to rest a couple times, but probably not all the way. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's valuable, really. Well, that's more useful than that. It is extra damage from the Arcane Detonations, and we will get quite a few of those. Um... Mana Shield wasn't a mana card, but it is. I may just sit on the deck 
I think I'm pretty happy with the list. I guess the argument for cutting one of the divinations, but like it's kind of the whole point of the joke. You lit rust like one more time. Uh, have five rests left over. That seems like a good point to stop. We could take this. I don't think it's valuable enough. This could be a way to force powerful out, but it's way too risky. I think the evade chance is more valuable going into Bailier. All right, let's see how this goes. We have starting tough. We have a lot of health to fall back on. And we have a lot of toys that we would love to see. So I think, give me a second. All right, so, um, I don't think I need, eh, I may as well. Actually, let's get that back. All right, and we are going to take some damage here. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we would evade at least one of them. I guess we don't have that high chance. Yeah, that's rude. Yeah, bay later turn ones are often rough. Um, We're gonna do that. I think we are gonna see what we can find. Unhelpful. We don't have opportunists to deal with, which is something I maybe should have thought about. I really would like to find, of course, Strenuous Vigor. It's not happening. I think we're going to play that on the assumption that if we can find whatever, it'll be really useful for us. And then, all right. I can see how we dodged one of them at least. Hey, we evaded that. I am very happy with that then. Less happy with that. Even less happy with not yet finding um, whatever. Although we can afford to play one of them, naturally. Watch this draw us the other thing that we... Okay, that's actually okay. Uh, this isn't enough to freeze. I think we're going to play that out because if we can loop something, we want it to be stone skin. So that's going to be top of our discard file. So, yeah, unfortunately we lose health doing this, but I think we kind of are backed into a corner. That helps. May as well finish paying out. Okay. All right, I knew what that was going to be. I knew that wasn't something I could play. I'm dumb. Yeah, we were just getting bodied here. Um, and yeah, a lot of it does just come down to Strenuous Figure was in the bottom 10 cards of our deck. And we really needed it to not be. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how we best sequence this. That comes out, I think. There is mana there, potentially. Hannah. I need to make space in hand as part of the, the concern here. So there's a one in three chance that the, playing this would be a really bad idea. Although I guess it doesn't hurt us that bad if it's the wrong one. Okay. So that's kind of bad, but I guess I guess that is actually pretty bad. I lied. Well, no, because we do have mana, but now we do have to pay for it. Um, so that's going to happen. We're going to duplicate these so we can transform both Insidious Power Stones. I may not play that because I don't know that I want to get. Okay. Okay, we can play this.
and yeah, like, we are now basically untouchable, but we had just such a rough time with, um, And this is part of where, like, if we could roll, if we could have drawn more copies of uh, Strumius Vigor, we would have been in better shape, but we just didn't. Okay, so we can't play that many cards, but... Ooh. This gets us blown up, but I think it's worth... I think we do something else to blow us up first before we play that. Oh, hmm. Trying to think through the sequencing of this. So this takes us to 15, which takes us to 3. So we can play two cards after. So we want to play these two. Yeah, that works. Okay. And now, we still have enough evasion. Although our fortress is now high enough, but also that doesn't matter. Though. But more importantly, we now have some non-temporary plated. Which was my main goal there. Alright, we can't afford to play too many cards here because of the bleed. But that means we can play cards. I probably should have just looked to that. pitch. Honestly, we can just do that and drop back later. So yeah, it's amazing how much, um, yeah, like we were taking like 30s. The instant, yeah, we get going and now we're evading, we're ignoring stuff, we're just generally having a good time. Um, we just had to give up half of our health to get to this point. Pretty okay. Bonk. Powerful. For us. Okay, there's the opportunist. We can even afford to trip the opportunist at this point because we have so much powerful. Probably not going to deliberately trip it, but we could. We're not so much power, we have so much fortress. Fortress is the thing that lets us do that. Um, maybe we want that back because we may need it next turn. Let's get the reclamation back because we may need that next turn. And there's no point in playing that. All right. So we're now vulnerable again, but we have so much damage reduction that we are totally fine. And we have that. Sure, I'll get it back. Um, yeah, we'll get purity. I could have just healed here, but... Yeah. Okay, we are going to get detonated, but we can block it. We can block whatever. So we can actually lose any buffs. Um, I guess that's fine. Could we actually? That's actually really good because we know there's spirit coming. Not that it's going to matter because we are going to get lethal here. Okay, and then we can play that. Just for fun. And it dies. And yeah, so the main moral of the story here is Strenuous Vigor is busted. Um, the other moral of the story is Entrance Strike was maybe a risk that we didn't need to take because it slowed us down on getting uh, the Fortress set up that also would have helped us a lot against Bay later. Um, but yeah, obviously the fact that we did CPU without taking any damage is a pretty strong testament to how well the deck was doing. Um, yeah. 
Anyway, that'll do it for this time. I will see you next time. Doodles.